In this video, let's discuss about root cause analysis and understand the different techniques used like brainstorming, fishbone diagram, five whys, etc. with examples. Creating software right the first time is very important. Take quality measures right at the beginning of the project to avoid defects at later stage. Cost of fixing the defect at later stage is very high and the time taken to fix the defect will also be more, which may lead to late delivery and customer dissatisfaction. So rigorous focus should be on defect prevention, understanding the root cause of the defects and taking corrective action to eliminate defect reoccurrence are important aspect of quality assurance activity. Root cause analysis is method of problem solving that tries to identify origin of the problems. It can be used in any industry. Here we'll mainly focus on software industry. You might have noticed that whenever there is failure in software, especially production defect, we discuss at length and try to trace them back to their origin. That is, we try to find the real reason why defects occurred. This is nothing but root cause analysis. We'll refer it as RCA. Why do RCA? The primary purpose of RCA is to find the real reason of the problem and come out with the solution so that the problem does not reoccur. You can put RCA results under lessons learned which can be used by future project to avoid similar defects. Now that we have understood why do we need RCA, let's look at how to do RCA. There are different ways to conduct root cause analysis. One is by brainstorming and other is fishbone diagram. Another technique is 5Y etc. We'll discuss each of this technique in a moment. Coming to brainstorming technique, here members from different groups like example, a business analyst, design teams, developer, tester, project managers come together to examine the problem and brainstorm all possible causes of the failure. Then the moderator or facilitator will process the ideas and note down the ideas which were discussed. This can be used to arrive at the real root cause of the problem. There are few things to consider while using this technique. Objective of the meeting should be very clear so that the team remain focused on the problem. Every member should be given opportunity to express their ideas or views. Every idea should be noted down but not evaluated. Facilitators should prevent the discussion from getting too personal. Coming to advantages of brainstorming. It is a very popular collaborative team approach of finding the root cause. These are easy to learn and perform. Participants with different knowledge and different experience come together. They bring together various ideas and suggestions. Since everyone is at same place and same time, time consumption is also less compared to the other techniques. Main disadvantages are Participants with the ability to express their ideas faster and more forcefully might hog the limelight and others might feel intimidated. The facilitator should play a key role in ensuring all voices and all ideas are heard. Since participants with different knowledge and different experiences come together, their ideas or approach for the problem may result in tangential discussion and processing the order of ideas also may be complex sometimes. Let us discuss short history of fishbone diagram. Kaoru Ishikawa is a Japanese who proposed this technique. Hence, it is called Ishikawa diagram. He used this diagram in 1943 to explain to a group of engineers at Kawasaki how a complex set of factors could be related to help understand a problem. It is also known as fishbone diagram because of its shape similar to side view of a fish skeleton. Fishbone diagrams are used across various industries to analyze defects, their causes and their effects. Because of this, they are also referred to as cause and effect diagrams. Fishbone diagram is a simple tool that allows root cause to be understood in a simpler way. Let's discuss various steps involved in creating and analyzing the fishbone diagram. 
The effect is usually a problem that needs to be resolved and is placed at the fish head. The causes of the effects are then laid out along the bones and different reason for the causes is cascaded along the branches as shown in the figure. Step 1. Identify and clearly define the problem or the effect to be analyzed. Step 2. Identify the main causes contributing to the effect. Sometime for main branches you can use categories like for service industries the 8 P's like people, product, price, promotion, policies, processes, procedures, place and for manufacturing industries the 6 M's like manpower, method, measurement, machinery, material and mother nature or you can have customized categories. Having categories will help you to structure idea generation and also help you to get more relevant causes. Step 3. For each cause identify other specific factors which may be the reasons. You can make the reasons as a label of sub branches in the diagram. Step 4. Continue breaking down each cause until you get to a root cause. Step 5. Explore possible solution to the problem. Let us take an example where we can understand fishbone diagram in a better way. Suppose an organization has a problem with printing which repeatedly fails. Let us examine this by brainstorming all possible causes for the failure and using fishbone diagram to arrive at the root cause. Let's begin creating a head which lists the problem or issues to be analyzed. Then create a backbone for a fish which is a straight line that leads to the head. Identify at least three or four causes that contribute to the problem. Connect these four causes with the arrows to the spine. This will create first bones of the fish. Some of the obvious causes could be printer runs out of ink, printer runs out of paper, room is too hot for the printer, printer driver software fails. Next step is to identify reasons for each cause. Show these lines coming off each cause line. Here if we take printer runs out of ink, it may happen due to no process for checking printer ink level before use or staff not trained in looking after the printer ink or no process for stock control or ordering. Finally, you should have a diagram showing all possible causes of the problem that you can think of. Depending on the complexity and the importance of the problem, you can now investigate the most likely causes further. This may involve setting up investigation, carrying out surveys and so on come up with the root cause of the problem. In this example, if the root cause identified is as printer runs out of supplies of ink, then possible solution to the problem could be providing a user interface which helps to monitor when the printer ink is getting low or providing step-by-step -step instruction to help the user to change the cartridges. Thus using fishbone diagram, we can arrive at the root cause of the problem. Another example on how to use fishbone diagram. Problem statement. Lot of escalations, firefighting happening in a project due to miscommunication. To understand why there was miscommunication, let us use fishbone diagram tool. Let us list various categories of causes like language articulation, communication technology, team culture and project plans. Let us identify the cause under each categories, then arrive at each reasons of cause by using 5 Y techniques which we will discuss later in this presentation. Under language articulation categories, written English and accent may be the cause. Similarly, in other categories, you can identify various causes and keep drilling down as long as you like till you reach to the root cause. 
In our last example, we'll use fishbone diagram to solve the problem at organization level. Here, consider high employee attrition in the organization and management is using fishbone diagram to solve the issue. Let us identify categories such as location, management, marketplace and benefits. Under location category, identify the cause such as office premises being situated in such a location that it's hard to drive or it's too far to commute or it's situated in a small town or rural area. Under management category, identify causes like management being inflexible or not open to new ideas and innovation. Under marketplace category, identify cause such as job market having high demand for workers or salary offered in other companies are pretty high. Under benefit category, cause may be due to employee drawing too less basic salary or he's not been given any other benefits. For each cause, identify the reason and arrive at root cause. In this slide, let's discuss about benefits and limitation of fishbone diagram. Coming to benefits, all possible causes of the problem are identified using this technique. Here we use structured way to find out root cause of the problem where group of people can come with different ideas or causes of the problem. It provides a visual image of the problem which can be analyzed in a better way. Coming to limitation, it is tough to use this tool to solve complex issues where many causes and problems are interrelated. The team might spend a great deal of energy speculating about the potential causes, many of which may not have significant effect on the problem. Sometimes this approach can leave team feeling frustrated. So it's important that we choose to apply this technique appropriately. Third and the last technique that we'll discuss in this video is on 5 whys. 5 whys is a simple problem solving technique that helps to get to the root of the problem quickly. Identify the problem and start asking why, what caused this problem. The answer to the first why should prompt another why and the answer to the second why will prompt another and so on. Steps involved in 5 whys. Write down the specific problem, ask why the problem happened and write down the answer below. If the answer you have provided does not identify the root cause of the problem, ask why again and write the answer down. Repeat asking why until the team agrees the problem's root cause is identified. Five iteration of asking why is generally sufficient to get to the root cause. Let's consider an example to understand five whys. In a project, design was not good enough and led to different interpretation by various team. You can start asking why after each response until you arrive at the root cause. First to ask why was the design not good enough and the response would be class diagram and VOPC were not depicted correctly. For this response, you can ask why was the class diagram and BOPC not depicted properly? The response could be that the team was unaware of the design tools. Again ask why the team was unaware of the tool. The response could be lack of training. And then for this why was the team not being provided with the training and the reason may be poor planning and estimation which did not have a schedule or budget to do the training. This helps in arriving at the root cause. Most of the times 5Y is sufficient to get to the root cause. However, sometimes more than 5 or even less than 5Y is enough to get to the root cause. Let's discuss the benefits and the limitation of 5Y techniques. Advantage of using this technique is less time consuming. It can be learned quite easily and quickly. Coming to its limitation, if there are multiple causes for the problem, then it is difficult to apply this technique. It may not be consistent. That is, if three different group applying 5Y technique to solve the same problem can come up with totally different solution. Understanding RCA and taking corrective action 
is important in software development. The results can be used immediately or can be documented as lesson learned which can be used in other projects. You can start off by doing RCA for major production defect. It is good practice not to stop there. Apply RCA to user acceptance testing defects, system testing defects, unit testing defects, to requirement review defects. Start with few projects as pilot. If it is successful, then apply to the entire organization. Hope you have enjoyed this session. Please send your feedback and comments to info at winvinia.com. Thank you.